So here we are at the end of 2012, going into 2013, and I think we've made amazing strides as a society. I mean, just like the last 200 years of American society, um, even like the last 50 years since civil rights, of course, has been amazing. And, and even like in my lifetime, like the last 20, 30 years, the last generation, uh, we have seen just amazing opportunities for people of all like races, classes, genders, um, all that stuff, you know, like we've, uh, women have been accepted in the workplace, uh, we have laws against discrimination in, in hiring and in schools, uh, we have uh, equal access to voting and housing, careers, transportation, uh, education, um, you know, like all groups and, and types of people are portrayed and on TV and like, you know, are able to be like shown, um, like gay people are getting married now, um, we don't sterilize um, uh, mentally disabled people anymore and like we've apologized for a lot of that sort of stuff. Um, you know, it's no longer a standard uh, to consider one race or group inferior. You know, we don't deny service or bus rides or, or um, housing or medical treatment or anything like that. It's no longer standard to call a black person boy, um, uh, or it's no longer standard to like treat women like sexual objects and call them baby or honey or something like when a uh, female cashier like rings you up or female bus driver or whatever, uh, and we let women work and drive and vote now and everything. And I mean, even like transgender issues are in the mainstream conversation sometimes. And, like that's such a niche thing, you know, that like to have that um, sometimes come up is, is just pretty amazing. Um, I feel like people in general now can walk down the street um, and not be bothered based on stuff like that, on like class things or race things or whatever. Um, I mean, that's if you live in a city, of course, a lot of America is suburbs and driving and whatever, but like cities, um, are like being rebuilt, like they're so much safer, like um, I've lived in a couple different cities and even in like 10 years I've seen uh, places that were like vacant lots and stuff just turn into condos and like commercial investment and white people are moving back in there and um, just so much better, like there used to be neighborhoods that were like kind of rough and now they've been rebuilt and um, um, that's, you know, that's, that's great that we're like rebuilding our infrastructure and, and not just leaving places to rot anymore. Um, you know, we don't like redline neighborhoods anymore and say like black people can't live here or Jewish people can't live here or anything like that. Um, uh, and another thing is like information is so much more readily available now, uh, which is amazing, like, uh, through the internet and technology and everything. Um, and even though, like, people stick to their comfort zones a lot online, like, uh, knowing that, um, important, like, medical information or, like, class issues or, like, queer theory or something is just a click away, that can really empower people, you know? Like, uh, probably in past generations, maybe people would have been ashamed or, like, misunderstood or uncomfortable about certain things, and now they have that, that information, and that can be really empowering. Um, and, I mean, that helps to give, like, minority groups an increased voice and able to have more partic participation. Um, and, like, that's really amazing, right? Because you can't control how you're born, so that shouldn't determine your success in life, really. Uh, there's just dramatically increased opportunities, I think. And I think, really, nobody really needs to uh, feel like they are held down anymore by their race, class, creed, or gender. I mean, black president. 